All right, what is going on, guys? It's your boy MJ, so aka Miles Marcus here with We're back with another video, and let's kind of talk for a little bit, and then we're gonna get on with this reaction video. Now, apparently, you know, people are still kind of being skeptical if uh, people should get The Last of Us Two and stuff like that. Now, I, honestly, I heard Last of Us Two is a lot different from Last of Us One because, like, now this one's kind of feel like a whole bunch of political type type time and SJWs and stuff like that. Um, but it's like it's just filled with a lot of like politics, pol political stuff. So I'm like. Hey, you know, Last of Us 1 wasn't even like that. Last of Us, it was just like, you know, just pure fun, enjoyment, and excitement and stuff like that. But then when you find out why, 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 or like, it's, it's kind of sucks that like gaming in general is now at to the point where like this whole, now like we gotta deal with games that have like political, uh, social justice warriors and like SJWs type beat, like uh, this whole politics stuff. I'm tired, I don't even, I don't like politics, but, politics, but, now it's like, damn, honestly, I think the game is still going to be good from a gameplay perspective. I don't know how the story, a lot of people are saying this game is going to be trash. I don't think so. I don't think this game is going to be trash. I think this game is still going to be a great game. Yes, there's probably still going to be a lot of, like, you know, themes, stuff like that, and that people, a lot of people are going to disagree with and all that crazy stuff, but I still think the game is going to be overall all pretty enjoyable, in my personal opinion. I'm not hopping on the Last of Us 2 bandwagon. I'm not. I'm, I mean, Last of Us 2 hate bandwagon. I'm not going to do that, because... I still think this is going to be a pretty good freaking game in my personal opinion. I'm not going to just sit here and say like, oh man, it has political stuff and political blah blah blah. I mean, that's the that's the, I mean, a lot of people are complaining about that, but we've been dealing with this whole political SJWs in gaming and stuff like this. So why is this anything new? This is nothing new. So why is everybody getting so upset about that? Um, you guys throw my thoughts and opinions on how I feel about the whole that now actually now I know why. Uh, the dev actually leaked out the whole game and stuff like that because what was it getting paid? The dude wasn't even getting paid. How are you going to make a game and not pay your employees? And on, on top of that, people tend to, people are actually uh, seem to be hating on Naughty Dog because they're not paying their employees. They, I mean, I'm hearing I was watching the game of 2323 and he was saying stuff like, oh. oh Naughty Dog is not paying their employees, stuff like that. They're treating them like slaves, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, if that's the case, I could kind of understand why he will. I mean, I wouldn't have gone that far and leak the whole game, but I, I understand where he's coming from. You're messing with my bag, fam. You're messing with my bag. You're not, you're not you know, giving me the monies and, and stuff like that. So I could definitely understand where he's coming from, but I would never, if I was another, if I was never, I probably wouldn't have leaked the game, but I would have done. So I would have done something. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that because I wouldn't want to ruin the experience. Because I would have thought about the fans. I would have thought about the play other players that waited so long to play this game. I wouldn't just flat out just leak the whole entire game if I was mad or if that if I was mad or upset. I'd do something else. If I was mad, I would just do something else. You feel me? But um, yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy, dog. Like for real. So I don't know what is gonna happen. I mean, I don't know. I still think a lot, a lot of people are gonna pick up the Last of Us 2. Even the people that say that they're not gonna get, even the people that say they're not gonna get the game, they're gonna get the game regardless. I'm telling you, the people are still gonna get this game. Even the people that say they're not gonna get it, they're gonna get it regardless. I'm telling you, I guarantee you, people are still gonna be picking up this game. It's still gonna be making a lot of sales. Yeah, people are saying, oh, don't buy the game, don't buy the game. But the same niggas are gonna be there at the midnight release. I'm not trying to hear that. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But um. Let's go on with this reaction video. This guy is pretty much ranting, saying like, "Oh, don't get, don't get Last of Us 2. It's blah blah blah. So, let's we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So here we go. The Last of Us Part Two leak the trash of us. So, I don't know what's got. I hope he doesn't talk. I hope he doesn't talk about any spoilers. But let's see, let's see, let's see what he's got to say about this. Let's see. The last I'm kind of curious what everybody else has to say about leaked, this, though. And all I can say is, wow, it's woke trash, and I don't see how I didn't see something like this coming, being it's made in 2020. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. So this all starts with how apparently due to Naughty Dog devs being mistreated along with forced crunch hours yeah, during the pandemic, know about that one. a pissed dev decided to leak the majority of the game, including the ending, with plenty of cutscenes and all. From what Dang, I heard, it that's crazy. a lot of people off from trending tweets to the comment section of the quarterings video on the matter so seeing as how i've already played to the first game and had no intention of buying the second one since i was perfectly fine with where the first ended off i decided to look into these leaks myself now i won't really be giving any spoilers any further than just saying that the story is focused on revenge against the main characters of the first game for what they've done 
that you only play as Ellie for the first half of the game. And the old news that apparently a homophobic Christian cult will be the antagonist, but damn is this game's story a real shit show. If for some reason I don't convey this in a way that makes sense, I'm really trying without giving away any spoilers whatsoever except for stuff that's just considered common knowledge at this point, okay. such as Ellie being a lesbian, but... If it's right, not about enough that. and you're curious yourself, I will leave a link to the thread that has all the spoilers. I'm and good, we ain't checking that out, bro. Still, then just look up The Last of Us 2 on Twitter at your own risk. But anyway, there's seemingly a lot of pandering to the LGBTQ in this game, leaving it seeming very much like this game is heavily politically motivated. And while I have nothing against LGBTQ characters, if you're gonna have them in there... Don't put them in there just for the sake of having them in there. Don't throw it right in people's faces if it's not plot important, especially when it comes at the expense of the actual plot, like in this case. And the fact that even the very people that it's supposed to be pandering to hate it too just shows that Naughty Dog has really fucked this up. And Dang, like bro, you gotta be kidding me! And don't like it are gonna be labeled as trans haters by the mainstream media and SJWs, which... Honestly, whatever, who gives a rat's ass about that? And in case you're still confused, let me show you some posts I found on Twitter. Let them just speak for themselves about how people are reacting to this. Yeah, a certain character, we'll just say, is heavily spotlighted in this game, is drawing all kinds of flack from all kinds of people, even trans people themselves. I'd expect what? this kind of thing out of other developers, but Naughty Dog, a company that's been known for putting the quality into their games... Yes, sir! The hell? Now, of course, all this controversy is based on the plot and such. I'm not sure how the gameplay will be, as I haven't seen anything myself besides the E3 teaser, but either way, you have to have a good plot to back up gameplay in a game that Not, supposedly hey, bro, you're right, bro. exists you're right, specifically bro. to further Hands develop down, the family. story of you're two right. well-loved characters from a previous entry in a game series. But everywhere I look into this game's plot, it just seems there's some political agenda right there in every corner of it. Dude, Trying to understand terrible. the point of it at this point Whoa, just no. makes my brain hurt. I never ca even cared about this game's existence, and the fact that Naughty Dog had to ruin it for the people that do care about it for, like myself, upsets me. I got this so, is all without man. talking more about how they're apparently treating their employees. It's starting to become a more See, that's what I don't like. That's why you're treating your you're treating your employees too. like trans. You're treating I'm sure people that work for your game like trans. That's not good. And that's what I don't like. That's another reason why I don't really want to. I might not get this game. It just seems like the industry is just going further and further down the shit. Anyway, in the interest of keeping this video short and preventing it from turning into a full-on rant, I'm gonna end this video here. Like I said earlier, if you want to know more about everything, the link to the spoiler thread will be in the description and there's also twitter you can check but again do so at your own risk as people are posting full-on spoilers there as well and if none of those satisfy you can always check out the quartering as i did use him as part of a reference for some of the information i got and to the people that were really looking forward to this game I'm sorry that SJW pandering had to ruin what could have been a great game and a good send-off to the PS4 before the launch of the PS5, likely later this year. This is War Starcy on the Game Clips channel, and I'm out. Damn. That's deep, man. That's deep, guys. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, that's that's it. I mean, that's what, that's all, you, that's what all I can say about this, bro. I mean, I guess as for the whole SJW, SJW type B, I mean, it's been part of gaming before... It has been part of gaming before. SAW political stuff. That's been part of gaming before. But I can understand this specific game. Like, this is supposed to be the game that's not supposed to have this kind of stuff. Especially from going back from Last of Us 1, which was pretty much what was supposed to be like a fun enjoyment type game, which it was. And you go into Last of Us 2, you don't want to have to worry about political SJW. I can definitely understand that. Because Last of Us 1 did not have that. And why would Last of Us 2 have to, Last of Us 2 have, to have that crazy crap, bro? I don't know, man. But I can understand. I'm kind of upset. I'm up. I'm up uh, I can't speak today. I, I'm upset about it too. I'm pretty upset about it too myself. So I can understand like what your guys are trying to say and all that. But I don't know. Man. I still, I still think people are still going to get this game regardless stuff like that. I still see these pe. I still see people getting this game. I still see people getting this game though. In my opinion, we'll see what happens. But I don't know. But I don't. Me, I might still get it myself. Um, but I, I still believe, I still, I still don't like how Naughty Dog treats their, like, the whole, their employees. That's not right. That's not right. That's out of line. That's out of line. 
Simple. It's out of freaking line. It's disrespectful. That's not right. They, they stay they slaving over that game. They busting behind on that game. And you treating them like tra- trash. You treating them like that. That ain't right, bro. You stink. But anyway, guys, I'm a, this, is my, this is my video. I'm done. I um, uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. And uh, yeah. Bye, Z.